roadmap. That's what most Simmers are asking. The last Sims 4 roadmap, which covered January through April of this year, has already passed. We received all the kits and the stuff pack that we were promised. And although the game is completely glitched out and basically unplayable, Simmers are still complaining that a roadmap has not been announced. For those of you who are still using the official Sims forum, there's a thread in the speculations and rumors section called Another Year of Content for The Sims 4. May 7th was EA's latest fiscal year report where they promised 15 content releases within the next 12 months. There's much debate if all the content will be paid DLC or if it will include free updates such as SDX and patch features. Regardless, there was a comment on that thread on May 8th from the community manager EA Cade discussing that there will be many things announced very soon. EA is currently having a publisher sale through the EA app that ends tomorrow, Monday, May 13th. It's highly likely we'll have a new roadmap drop the following day, Tuesday the 14th. I'll link the articles and forum in my YouTube bio if you're watching this on YouTube. We already know one drop is going to be a new hairstyle coming this July. Back in March, it was reported on the simscommunity.info that a new lock style was going to be released as a part of a diversity content to planned attack on the sims i look forward to seeing what else is going to be included and hopefully we do have a roadmap this week also on the forums there's a possibility of a new toddler update including new swatches for the toddler tablet and possibly a pacifier based on the newsletter that was released over this weekend in the image you can see a toddler holding a dark green tablet with the signature freezer bunny tail on it and a pacifier in their mouth when you click on the image in the newsletter it takes you to a video on the ea help channel about parenting 101 at the 302 mark, there's an image of the same Wablet tablet in pink, which we currently don't have that swatch in game. In addition, there's been leaks already of the two st estimated stuff packs that may be coming with the next roadmap, but I'll be sure to do a separate video. Please let me know in the comments below what you expect to see out of the next roadmap. What do you think we can add to The Sims 4 that won't break the game any further?